Grab counter moves number five. When my opponent comes up from behind me, he grabs me, scooping my arm in his weight and spinning me toward him. And as he, do, as he does that, I want to step to regain my balance. He's pulling me off balance this way. I'm just going to use that momentum from my first strike. As he pulls, I'm going to step into my first strike. In this case, it's going to be the When I hit the I want to strike with my palm heel, reach up, grab underneath to the Man's sometimes can take damage, especially if they're into sports and they get hit quite often, but their generally cannot handle it. So when I palm grab and pull here, I want to make sure that he's reacting the way I want to. Because the body naturally reacts away from pain, I'm not going to be able to strike that again if I, sh if I want to. So once I hit here, I pivot through. And as I pivot, I want all my body weight going into the strike. With my forearm, what I call an anatomical maximum here, it's a good solid bone. I'm going to strike to the base of the skull, just like so. So as I'm pivoting, I'm going to turn through, strike to the base of the skull. If he happens to still be standing, and in this case he was, I'm going to reach underneath with my right hand and hook the eye, just like so. I take my left hand, place it on the back of his head. Now, to pull him down to the ground or throw him down to the ground, I need to pivot. In order to do that, <clears throat> I take my left foot, pivoting back around behind me as I bring his eyes up and around. The nice thing about having my finger hooked in his eye is that he'll respond, he'll go anywhere I need him to because he doesn't want to lose this eye. As I step back around, I'm going to take my right hand, slamming him down, just like so. From here, I can follow up. This allows me the time to either A, stomp on him and make sure he doesn't follow me, or B, scream and yell for help, call police, whatever I need to do. From there, follow-ups can be stomp to the back of the head or to the ribs, whatever I feel like doing. Hey, quick announcement about a flash sale. I'm giving away this stunning foot-long fixed blade full tang knife along with an awesome sheath to the first 200 guys who get to the link in the description. It's called the Titan. I just call it the big ass knife. The closest thing I can compare it to is a classic K-Bar and if you want the $70 knife for just shipping, you'll have to act fast. Okay, back to our video. Grab counter moves number four. My arm, pull them in tight, hook them in, pressure in. Now the way I can take him out from here, if I got any kind of control of his arms at all, his arms are on my chest, against my throat, I'm going to knock one arm across his body. I'll push away with my hips, control an arm by pulling it or knocking it across. Once I pull him in, I'll pull him in across this side so we can see what's going on. His arm is now actually blocking off one of his carotids, right here. His upper arm's blocking off this carotid. My bicep's going to be not blocking off the carotid on the other side. I pull him in tight. I hook into my own bicep, grab behind my own neck, and squeeze. Put on a blood choke from there. So again, bringing this arm across his throat, my bicep blocks off the other. How this is done, we can look if he's trying to post up, he's got his hand on my throat, to push away with my hips, knock him away, and bring him in, and set out that position right in there. Hey, my free flash giveaway is still going on. There are still some of these titans left. This is a foot long full tank fixed blade knife for 70 bucks, but I'm giving it away to the first 200 guys who get to the link in the description. Just pay shipping and I'll rush one out to you right away. Back to our video. Grab counter moves number three. Quite agree. Bring your hand inside, draw your fingers into his eyes, bring your th knee inside the thigh, bring your elbow across the top, breaking them down. Let me show you another way to take control of your opponent. Let me th break that down. As your opponent comes with the punch, step out 45 degree, block. Bring your hand up, around, locking his elbow. Bring your other hand, open hand, straight through the throat. Moving your left leg back, controlling his body to the floor. <clears throat> Same time you have his elbow in this position. If he wants to move, or you just lift your body up, that eliminates to break the elbow. Now you have him from the throat. You get close and tight. You want to break the shoulder, take it out of the socket. You put your knee on it, pull up. On this position, you can bring your elbow straight to the ribs. You can punch right in the, under the input, solid punch into him. As your opponent punches, lock up, bring your arm across, 
locking his elbow. Bring your arm across to his neck, swinging around, dropping him to the floor by locking his arm and against your body. Again, if he wants to move, bring your knee in close as you can. Break. If he wants to move more after he broke, twist his hand. I love breaking fingers. That's my best thing. Grab the thumb, yank it off. Pinky, move. Still wants to move, jam his elbow. Hey, last chance to take advantage of my YouTube flash giveaway. Get this foot long fixed blade Titan with an awesome sheath for free. There are now less than 200 available, but if you hurry and you're willing to pay a small shipping fee, I'll rush you out this $70 badass blade right away. Grab counter moves number two. So, a few other ones that we have, yeah, this is very common in a fight, or someone starts a fight, because a lot of people start it by grabbing you or pushing you. Is this, is this now, okay. Well, we'll slowly go over what he's just trying to start to do. I'm grabbing him here, he's spinning into me. Okay, what he's doing, very slowly coming around again. He's taking his arms and he's driving them hard, hard, very hard into my, this side of my elbow here where it folds. Okay, that's the hit, that's the angle. That's the hit and angle again, and the hit angle and off balance. Over and over and over again. And, you learn anything, it's hit, angle, and off balance. Boom, I do this, he does it hard, and of course, when it's for real, he's gonna, he's gonna drop, or he's gonna jump up and drop one to two. Yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> shirt's ruined. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there, there's no fighting there. Now, the guy can be, we've got a guy that's 250, that he's 130, draws him like that, because they can't take that, they can't, I don't care, if they're 500 pounds and the, the world-class sumo wrestler, their arm can't take his 130 on it, especially when he folds it in hard like this. This also works if the guy is close and he misses you with a punch. Up here, we'll use this arm for the camera. Hand. He, if he throws this punch or somehow this arm gets near you, some, however, you know, maybe he tried to grab you and you were able to move to the side, whatever happened, or he slipped. You take these two hands and hard right here. And I like to go up because this, when you go up, his natural reaction is to pull against you. Well, that's what I want. If I go up, he pulls against me, and I go down. That's it. But all you really have to do is I'm going to let go of him when I do this. All you have to do is, is that. Just fall on your butt. Simple, simple. So you've got one where they grab you this way. Always go to the outside of the elbow. Okay. Now, if I grab him, it doesn't matter with which hand I grab him. Oh, he does this. Now I can grab him, okay, turn around again. It doesn't matter which hand it is, it's simple stuff. There's one variation of this called the Hopkins variation, where if he were to grab me, uh, yeah, get behind me. He grabs me, okay, you've seen this drop, right? The Hopkins variation of this, see, grab me, I'm doing it very slowly. Is I wedge down, drive, and spin the circle with it too, which will wrench his arm out. We'll show that one, use this arm. For the, Okay, boom. You've seen this one. Pow, right? And then I just wrench it tight. All I do, I've driven the angle to get the bend. He's off balance. I'm dropping, but I'm spinning too. Because if there's something there you can hit him with, like a, there's a, a wall or something or a table, then you use the Hopkins variation. But that's two methods now for that grab from behind. Those are simple things. But you're using body weight, which everyone has. Everybody weighs something, right? Use it. What's, you know, why not? What's wrong with using your body weight? Uh, you know, that's why professional boxers, kickboxers, why they're so effective is because they're putting their body weight behind. That's why they stay on balance, to put their body weight behind things. They try to move. They try to move into things. With our pop-up, we're moving into you. We're using our body weight as much as we possibly can. Grab counter moves number one is going to be a basic guy comes up to you, grab hold of the arm. Not, not very aggressive, but still trying to get the intimidation factor. As the person does it, he's going and just grabbing the inside of, of, of my arm. You think about what areas are available to you. He has a, a good, just regular hand grip where he's pushing the thumb onto the the bicep there. You can use that against him. As he goes to grab you, grab the inside of his arm 
and you'll be pushing, pulling back on that thumb as because he's trying to grip you. You're pulling back on that thumb. Once he pulls back on that thumb, you can bring him down. Okay? Yeah. It's like a broken thumb. How about that? Good. All right, let's try it from this side. Now, again, he's going for the inner, the in, inside of my arm. Because of his placement of his thumb, you can use that against him. You grab the back side of his forearm. His thumb is kind of locked in that, that particular place. What, what I'm going to do from this point is just kind of crunch him in and drop my body weight down. And when I drop my body weight down, that's going to put pressure on his thumb, causing him to kind of wince over. Once he winces over, I'm just going to throw him to the ground with a small body torque. So as he grabs, almost instantly, we're using the, the simple ideas of how he grabbed me, uh, his momentum towards his grab, and then once, once he, he grabs me, I'm going to use that to lock him in, use just a, a natural uh, a natural tug to bring him closer and then use gravity to pull him down. In that area, you can't really see too well, but his thumb is really, really going to take a beating at that point, especially when his body moves forward and past, and past my shoulder. Uh, as the person comes at you in any way, say they grab, grab the wrist of any sort, doesn't matter. Grab the hand, manipulate the joint. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.